So in IAC, I'll take an example of IAC talent seeker. Right? We are driving it. First of all, it is a nascent. We have just understood the root cause of it. We realize that the colleges have done multiple things. They have got labs. They have got teachers training. They have got this uh, uh, industry projects or some kind of life projects. But some colleges have just projects going on. Some colleges have industry courses. Some colleges have good labs. But everything together is missing. That's one gap. So we need to have industry projects, industry courses. We need to have industry labs, and we need to have some kind of industry faculty coming and actually kind of reviewing the projects. That's kind of that's one. Second part is there are different skills, right? Verification, design, and long design, digital design, architecture. We are currently only focusing on verification because that's where the jobs maximum jobs are. Once that is fixed and once you're able to scale that, other gap will be taken care of. That's the second gap which is being closed, and that's very critical that we scale it. And third is scaling, which I said we are not even scaled it at all. We have tried with the two three colleges. We know the challenges. It is a mindset challenge required for industry as well as academia. Academia has been focused on basics. Industry wants kind of a kind of a application and kind of a product level knowledge, vertical knowledge. That both together needs to match somewhere. And kind of a partner, but that collaboration was missing. So now collaboration has to happen, and it has to scale to maybe not just three colleges, but thirty colleges, maybe hundred colleges, and that is what we will be doing. I don't see talent as an issue for faculty as well as student. The issue for the campuses is that they don't know what the industry problems are. So they be aware of industry problem. That is first important thing. Second, when they start working on industry problem or kind of problems to solve as a project, industry needs to review it because industry knows what are the constraints, real life constraints that are facing. If the students do use infinite MIPS, lot of power, and lot of kind of area, then it is it is not useful for the industry. They have constraints of power, MIPS, area, cost, which needs to be adhered to, and with that, if the projects are made. Then they'll be realistic for the industry, and industry can use some part of that IP for their projects, and that is missing today. So, hopefully, faculty can actually start interacting with industry, getting industry into the campus, and collaborating and partnering in such a way that the best of the both worlds are actually kind of exposed to the students. That will be the next step that can, they can do to close the gap. Services companies or product companies, I don't see from engineering point of view there is a big difference. There is a difference, but there is not big difference because product company does a product. Services companies also does a product for a, their customers. Now the question is, only change could be a difference between startup and a big company. That I can tell you. So startup, you cannot have an engineer who only knows testing. You need engineer who knows from the specification. To architecture, to design, to testing, to validation—all the cycles because number of people are less. So there has to be kind of a very very versatile and broad. Whereas the big companies, because they can offer to have more people, there will be some people will be vertically in the front end, somebody will be in the verification, somebody can be back end, and the same thing works for the service companies also because they also have kind of big numbers and they also have compartmentalized kind of work done. So I would say. It will be different. It is not that it is a product or service or company versus service company. Any company, either product company, also doing services for the system group of their internal company. Service companies are doing services for the do the product for the customers. So I don't see much difference. The difference is startup versus a big company. So the question is like this, right? If you look at the campus. Faculties are supposed to really take care of the basics so well that the foundation for the students is ready. They are able to understand the industry courses and industry projects. If faculty focus on basics, they will not be able to upgrade their knowledge on the industry level. So, I Triple E and in such programs will actually help bridge the gap that faculties don't have to become industry experts. What they do is basically they do the basics. Make the students ready for the industry projects or industry courses, and I Triple E courses like a building blended learning can help three ways. One, it actually elevates the problem of faculty not being up to date to the latest in the industry. So this brings the up to date knowledge to the customers, students, so that they are actually learning the latest in the industry, latest tools, latest technology. That's one. 
second it is basically kind of a paste at its own students time so they can actually kind of stop uh, students who are kind of take time to learn they can go slow and they can actually do deeper learning and students who are fast they could learn faster they can do faster and do lot deeper lot more learning so breadth can be higher and they are both are happy because both are going at their own pace that's the second advantage and third advantage is that it can be time you don't have to attend the class and learn you can be at your own free time any place anywhere and that actually becomes kind of a benefit so these three benefit would definitely help students and also the learning and if you know in the industry the changes happening in education today it is more than degree the credential that you carry matters today and what kind of skills what kind of competencies that you have will be more important than just what kind of degree that you have i think i think that change will be valuable